Hey guys, what's up? I am at Mario Brown, Brian Anderson's Offline Renegades here in Peace Tree City, Georgia. I just met uh, my buddy David Mosheri. Yep, Mosheri. Mosheri. And uh, didn't know him. He actually pointed me out. I walked in late at night one night. He's like, hey, you're Damon. I'm like, uh, yeah, hi. Either way, he gave a phenomenal presentation yesterday. And um, I want to have him share some tips with you. So, David, can you give him a couple tips and uh, actionable strategies they take away now after watching this and go through? Yeah, for sure. Um, one of the things I would definitely, definitely recommend, first and foremost, is to have a system, have some type of platform to be able to manage everything you're doing for your client. One of the biggest things that most of these businesses fail at is the communication, being able to keep the clients in the loop, being able to tell them what's been done. So I think that's absolutely critical. You mentioned you're using high rise. Yes, yes. I use the Basecamp suite, which includes high rise. Um, I love Basecamp. I've tried a lot of different systems, so I would definitely recommend to you implement, if not Basecamp, something like that. Matter of fact, I just heard about FreeCamp, very similar, free, and gives you a lot of the same benefits. So that'd be one. I think the next thing that's really, really crucial, and you know, when I spoke yesterday, a lot of people keep saying to me, "You're the first person to ever say this." I believe that you need to show your clients all the efforts that you are doing. I know it's like not what most people say, or you know, they don't even talk about that. It's very quite the contrary of a couple of different other speakers. But. Yeah, it's very common because people, um, they don't have the systems refined, so they feel like they don't want to, or they've used the uh, SC new, and you know, the links aren't real good, or sometimes the pages might be in Russia. You know, I've heard it all, but the bottom line is with any type of marketing, you know, again, you've heard me say this, it's a, it's a pie, and these are pieces of it. You know, if your client is spending four hundred dollars, stop for a minute and think it from their point of view. If they're spending money and they're getting lots of calls, we know that, right? So it's something we have to deal with. If they get a lot of calls and they have no clue what you're doing, it's probably just a matter of time before somebody strikes a nerve and kind of gets in their head a little bit. That's why I feel that if you're putting all this time and effort and you're, you know, doing the blog commenting, you're doing the backlink, and you're doing all the different softwares, you're writing the articles, you're submitting them. Why wouldn't you be showing that to your clients? You know, yeah, because it makes them feel, first of all, more respectful for what we're doing. You know, because a lot of them think this is voodoo and magic, and by telling them specifically and showing them, they're like, "Wow, this is what you do." They come to appreciate you a little bit more. So, you know, and I find that people that don't want to show it, it's just because they don't have their systems on pat. It's because they don't really have anything in place, so they don't want to turn around and be able to show it. But I feel that it's probably one of the most critical things, not just having Basecamp, but showing all the efforts that's going into Basecamp. So also why this is important, I know this is kind of getting long, but it goes hand in hand. So good. When, when, you know, a lot of these businesses, unfortunately, they still think online marketing is a luxury in a lot of ways. You know, when money's tight, they're trying to figure out how they're going to cut bills. Do you know that one of the first things they might think about is this? And I know you're dealing with this right now, all of us do, but when you show them everything that you're doing and you show them all the efforts, they start second guessing that. And then they start looking at different options or different ways to cut money. So that's why by showing all your efforts, you're building relationship, you're building credibility, you're building respect, and you could be building a long-term client. You know, So I think that's absolutely crucial. Now, the next thing, probably the third step I would be really, really focused on is refining your processes. So we have Basecamp to manage it. We are showing the efforts, but I would continue to refine processes. You know, one of the things I feel, I mean, I, I'm so adamant about this. Everybody keeps buying WSOs, and don't get me wrong, they're great, but they're almost a distraction to a certain degree. Because you, you can't continue to focus on one thing because you're moving to the next thing. You're now moving on to the next WSO. You're now on the shiny object set. Exactly. The shiny object. <laughs> and, and it's true. And it happens all the time. And because you're never focused on a specific thing, you always think that there's that next amazing thing out there. Somebody's going to show you something that's going to blow you away so you're on to the next one. So you're not putting time and effort into the processes. And even worse, in engaging, seeing what's working for you. You know, you're, you're a lot of people in this business, and I understand because I've been in it for a few years now. First year was just a nightmare, just mass confusion. 
so much different information. You don't know who to trust, where you get it from. Everybody contradicts each other with different stories or different feelings. Uh, like you mentioned, most people say don't show the efforts. Um, and I believe that's a gut feeling because of a lack of, uh, I would think, maybe belief in themselves and what they're doing. But by continuing to refine your processes, engage, you start to know what's actually working. Most of you guys um, don't. And I say you guys because I'm just like you. If you throw the rice at the wall and see what sticks. Exactly. And the problem with that is you, you never, ever get a chance. I think they're calling us here. But you never get a chance to really know what's absolutely working, to know where you're spending your time and efforts in. And that's crucial. So those are my three tips to get your business rolling. All right, guys. Great. Real quick, lastly, what are you reading? Books? Yes. Actually, um, I'm an audiobook type of guy. What are you listening to? Um, lately, I've, I've just started listening again to Crush It, you know, Gary B stuff. I listened to that, um, The Irresistible Offer. I've been reading a little bit about... Um, What's going on? Correct. I have to go. See okay. you guys. Thanks, guys.